Paramount Langford just notified me that I'm down to three minutes. So, at this point, I'd like to open the floor up to questions that you might have on anything at all pertaining to the martial arts as you know them or as you think I should know them. <laughs> uh, if I get stumped on something, I'll get with the other grandmasters, and if they don't come up with something, rest assured, I'll make something up for you. Yes, yes sir. As a, with the um, centering exercises you were teaching, is there a drill or procedure we should go through to help that become more of an everyday thing and less of a neat trick we can do? Yes, uh, on the centering and all? Yes, sir. Yes. The initial exercise that I showed right here. For a while, do that every time you get on the mat. This enables you to move with the center <coughs> where it should be. Watch my hips when I bring those when I bring those hands up. What happened? My hips came forward and my cheeks sank. I'm now centered from here to right directly between my legs. If I try to be strong, my hips will pack, pop back. At that point, I'm not centered anymore and I'm off balance. I can be steered all over the map. It frustrates the company. Like I said, I'm 84 years old. I got out on the mat last month with some of our top competitors down in Charlotte. Olympians. Had to try to throw me. Say again? No, you're, you're good. Continue. And had them attack. Well, as long as I'm centered, but Sensei Stanley is a very good competition judo player when he doesn't bring his cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Shook up and down like this, and his cigarettes and matches dropped out of his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> if he ties up with me, I don't have to have the kumikata. A grip is a grip, and I can use his grip just as easily as I can use mine. I don't have to grab him. If he comes into a technique, I make him overextend his hips. When he overextends the hips, he goes down here because he has no structural support. You should say loose. When this modern day judo first came into being, the teams that I, they taught kumikata, how to fight for the grip. You know what my team said? They came out one. Now go ahead and grip. Gotcha. <laughs> And for five years on the East Coast, the South team, which I was the coach for, and captain of, five years in a row we took the East Coast United States Championships because we didn't fight for it. Because we didn't get tired. But it all changed. Now we can forgive these principles to folks that are truly interested in it. Uh, oh, I heard an announcement yesterday that uh, the British Olympian will be teaching here uh, coming up. Take advantage of him. He's an excellent instructor and an excellent <coughs> guy. 